Hi. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeanette. I'm the Project Junkie. Today, we're going to make these adorable little keychain poops, turds, whatever you want to call them. They're squishy. They're soft. They're so cute. The kids love them at markets. I sell them for $8 a piece. They're super simple to make, easy, fast, quick, and the profit margin is pretty good. So if at any time you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, leave me a picture of your poops in the comments. So let's get started. You will need a crochet hook, some glue. I like Fabri-Tac or Beacons 3-in-1. You'll need scissors and darning needles a stitch marker, a keychain. I like these snake rings. I get at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section. You'll need safety eyes, fiber fill, and some yarn. I'm using uh, just regular acrylic yarn for this project today. First thing, put six single crochet into the magic ring and join at the end. In row number two, increase in each stitch. You should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Place your stitch marker on the first stitch of the next row. And make sure your thread is not tangled and close your magic ring. Row number three is a single crochet and increase. And you're going to do this six times and there will be 18 stitches at the end of this row. Okay, at the end of the row, remove your stitch marker and row four is two single crochet and then followed by an increase and replace your stitch marker. You're going to do this six times in the round and you should end up with 24 stitches at the end of the round.
Okay, rows 5 through 10 is just a single crochet in each stitch, 24 stitches in the round. I'll meet you back here at the end of round 10. Okay, so we're at the end, or closing up on the end of round 10, and we're going to start the next round. Look, the bowl is uh, starting to appear. It's looking pretty good. Remove the stitch marker, and in row 11, we're going to decrease 12 times. You should have 12 stitches at the end of the round. This is what our project is looking like now. Row 12 is a double crochet increase in each stitch. So you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round, and that's double crochet. And here's what we look like. The next row, uh, row 13, is a half double crochet in each stitch around. You should have 24 stitches still at the end of this round.
row 14 is a decrease in a single crochet. You will do this eight times. You should have 12 stitches at the end of the round. Pretty sure I messed up my stitch count back there. But it doesn't really matter for a project this small. Just go to the end of the round. But oh, you forgot your stitch marker too! But this round is fairly easy to tell where the end is. So this is what it's looking like now. Get your safety eyes and we will place those eyes in row 13 about three or four stitches apart or however you like them to look. I like to use a little bit of glue around the safety eyes to try to hold those in a little bit better. Um, Fabri-Tac, uh, Beacons 3-in-1, um, I hesitate to use hot glue because it leaves such a hard ridge. And plus I don't want to wait for the glue gun to heat up. And yes, I do put the washers on backwards because I don't like the way the backs pull the eyes down into the project. So I just leave those on backwards. Okay, let your glue dry for a little bit. We'll go on to row 15. Row 15 is a de decrease six times. Not sure exactly how many stitches I have here. But just 
work your way around to decrease and to get that hole closed down a little bit more. And stuff the little turd moderately. You want it to be squishy and soft. In row 16, you want to chain one and you do three double crochet, a double crochet decrease, a double crochet, a double crochet decrease, and two double crochets. All you're doing is clo closing up the hole. It doesn't matter if these stitches are exactly like this. You're just trying to leave the little point at the top. So double crochet and double crochet decreases together will close up that point pretty well. And a lot of this point is made from the sewing at the end. So uh, there you have that. Just um, catch your thread and close up the hole with your darning needle. And sew in the key ring. Now I like to sew this in at least four or five times so that I've run the needle through the key ring four or five times because sometimes the little ring on the end splits and your yarn likes to uh, slip through. So I fill that up as much as I can to keep that from happening. All right, when you get done with that, um, slide your needle in and pull it out somewhere in the back. Don't cut it off yet. And then grab whichever color you're going to use for the eyebrows and mouth. 
and insert that into where the tail is coming out that you just finished from closing the top and embroider your eyebrows and if you embroider them up he looks kind of surprised if you point them down towards the center he looks angry um, the way you tilt your mouth or if you make a V out of it it all gives the little poops a different personality and they're just so cute and they get lots of comments So put that through the exact same hole in the back that the other that you came in from and tie that off and hide the tails inside. And there you have it. Aren't they the cutest little things? Thanks for watching. See you next time.